Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Thank you for joining us. My name is Sunita, and I am going to be starting off the show today. All right, welcome, everyone. Hope you're having a good Saturday so far. Feel free to ask any questions you want in the chat box. And we do have our friendly advisors who will be able to answer most, if not all, of your questions. Okay? Okay, so let's get started. Before I start, can I just have a quick show of hands? How many of you are joining us for the first time today? Please type number one in the chat box. And how many of you are returning customers who are already using your Thermomix type number two? And for those of you who have ordered your Thermomix and are eagerly awaiting its arrival, type number three. Okay, so we do have a lot of first timers today. So we will do our best to share with you all about the wonderful Thermomix that you see in front of you today. Okay, so just a little bit about myself. My name is Sunita and I am with the Kale English Branch. I have been with Thermomix for about six years now. And um, I actually started using it maybe about eight years ago when I started with the TM31 and then moved on to the TM5, got hooked, became an advisor and, and thoroughly enjoying what I'm doing now, sharing this amazing machine with all of you, okay? So let me quickly check. What is important to you when you cook? Is it that cooking should be easy or should it be time-saving? Should it be something that allows you to save money? Should it be something that allows you to be creative? Or is it something that you like doing because you find it's healthier cooking at home? Please type your answers in the chat box, all of the above. Yes, most of you would probably say all of the above. For me, actually, the most important or rather the most interesting thing is being creative because it's so much fun cooking with the Thermomix that um, I like getting creative. I'm not sure if some of you saw my recent post when I did the ribbon buns. So it just like allows me to have so much fun with my Thermomix, right? Okay, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, just a little background on Thermomix. Okay, Thermomix is sold worldwide and it's actually made by a company called Fallback, which is a German company. And the factory for TM6 is actually in France. So the machine is 100% made, assembled in France and shipped to Malaysia, okay? So Fallback itself is 135 years old, so it is a very well-established company. So you can put your trust in the company and in the brand, and Thermomix has won various awards around the world, okay? When we first started the Thermomix, it came out as something that looks similar to a blender, this is the ninth generation, the TM6. And when it came out in the 1960s, it was like a blender. And now you have the state of the art all in one kitchen machine that has 20 functions built into it. Okay. It's so popular that one double mix is sold every 23 seconds around the world. So if you can just imagine. By the time I finish saying this sentence, probably another Thermomix has just gotten sold, okay? So what do you get when you buy your Thermomix? Okay, so here you have the complete assembly. 
this is what we call the varoma. Okay, so this is called a varoma, which stands for vapor plus aroma. Okay, and this is the lid that comes with it. This is called the varoma tray, and this is called the varoma dish. Okay, this is used for steaming. And you can do multi-layer cooking using your Varoma. So you can actually steam two different items using the same Varoma unit, okay? Then we have our lid, okay? So this is the Thermomix lid. And we have the measuring cup that goes on top of your lid to cover it. The reason it's called a measuring cup is when you have your Thermomix or when you do finally get it, if you look inside, there are two lines that give you a quick measure for 50 ml and 100 ml, all right? So some recipes that you see online may say MC, which means measuring cup for short, okay? Then we have our Thermomix spatula that also comes with your unit. And Inside, we have the simmering basket. So you would use the simmering basket for steaming rice or noodles or pasta, potatoes, anything that you want to steam or cook, you can also cook it in here. And you use your spatula, which hooks on to lift it out when it is hot. Right? Then we also have, of course, our 2.2 liter stainless steel bowl and the butterfly whisk that comes with your thermal mix that fits into your bowl just like that. So it clips on on top of your bowl, all right? So it actually can lock you and the thing to remember is when you're using your butterfly whisk or your simmering basket, do not go over speed four, right? Then we have, with the TM6, we now have what we call the splash guard. So the splash guard is used for high temperature cooking. It goes on top and you would use it as per the instructions on your screen, all right? So that is what you get. And of course, we cannot forget our powerful German motto that is built in and the beautiful screen, touch screen that we have now, which you will see there are three dials. And the first dial actually shows you the time. So you would set how long you want to cook something for. So you just turn the dial and then you can actually just hold it to reset it. Touch the second dial to choose the temperature that you want and the last one to set the speed. So it's very similar to cooking on the stove. You can actually choose how long you want to cook something, how hot you want it to cook at the heat you want, and also what speed you want it to stir at. So whether you want it to stir gently or you want it to stir really fast, you can choose. Or if you wanted to blend something, you would use our speed 10, okay? The turbo mix also has what we call a turbo mode. So the turbo mode is actually faster than speed 10. And on turbo mode, it actually Spins, the blade spins at 10,600 RPM, which if you were to imagine is equivalent to your BMW going at 250 kilometers an hour, right? So that's how fast it is. So for this wonderful appliance, right now we have a special offer and it is only 6988, okay? So 6988, you can pay it either as a full payment or we have amazing financing options available. You can choose to pay either by credit or debit cards, all right? Or you could also opt to earn a unit for free 
please ask your advisors who invited you to our show more about that program too, okay? So I now have a question for all of you. How many of you have a blender at home? Type number one. How many of you have a kitchen aid or a hand mixer? Type number two. How many of you have a weighing scale that you use for weighing ingredients? Type number three. How many of you have a steamer? Type number four. So I can see a lot of you also have a lot of appliances, right? How many of you have a blender? Type number five. So if you have all these appliances, I, I used to have a Kenwood mixer, the big one, as well as a bread maker, but they're all big appliances and I just did not have the space to put them out on my kitchen countertop. So invariably they were put away in the cupboard. And when I wanted to make bread or use uh, my Kenwood, you know, I would have to assemble it, take it out, assemble it, put it together, you know, wipe it down because it's been in the cupboard and then use it and then clean it, wipe it and put it away. And it was just so much trouble that most of the time when I did think about using or making bread or something like that, I would just change my mind because it was just too much of a hassle to take everything out. So if you have so many appliances, I'm sure you too do not have everything out on your countertop. So the Thermomix is space saving because your one appliance does everything, okay? It can work as your juicer, it can work as your blender, it can work as your cake maker, it works um, for making your breads, it, makes, it works for making your curries, your vegetables. So you never have to put it away. You can use it for every single thing that you want to cook. So my Thermomix, I have two, sits on my countertop. And, you know, I use it maybe four times a day, okay? So it never gets left idle most of the time, right? So the Thermomix is the perfect partner for anyone. Okay, it's the perfect appliance for anyone, whether you are single, whether you are newly married, okay? It's a great investment because you don't have to buy so many other appliances. It makes an amazing wedding gift for parents who have children getting married. It's also great for young families who have young children, you can have a great time of bonding with your kids, but not forgetting the older generation. And if you're in your golden years, it's also an amazing appliance because it allows you to be able to cook even while you are sitting down, okay? So it fits in with any lifestyle that you may have, okay? So I'm gonna start off on my recipe today. So my recipe is from Cookidoo, which is the Thermomix recipe platform. We currently have more than 72,000 recipes. Okay. So I'm just going to click on my week because I've already saved the recipe in there. And we are going to make something called snickerdoodles. Okay. So my children, all adults, still love their cookies and their cakes. So I do a lot of baking. So you, all you have to do is pull up the recipe, go to start cooking. Okay, so it says preheat your oven. So this recipe is in imperial measures. So it's in ounce and pounds, etc., and Fahrenheit. But you don't have to worry because if you are accessing the recipe from Cookie Do, it will automatically change the measurement to ounce instead of grams. Okay, so it says preheat to 400 F, which is about 200 C. So I'm already preheating it and I have my um, 
non-stick baking sheet, so I'm not going to line it. Okay. So now I need one and a half ounce of sugar. Okay. So I'm just going to put in one and a half ounce. Okay. So I'm just going to go to one point five. So the scale will weigh as you put it in, so you don't have to have a separate scale. Okay. And then next, two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. So I'm gonna put in the two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. Okay. And then next, so it says insert measuring cup into mixing bowl lid. So it basically means to put the lid back on. Okay, and next, three seconds, speed five. So it's going to blend my sugar and my cinnamon powder together just for three seconds. Okay, so to stop the sound, you can either press next or just touch the screen. So you can see this really fine cinnamon powder now, okay? So it says transfer to a bowl and set aside. So I'm just gonna remove this to a separate bowl because this will be used to coat the cookies later. The snickerdoodles, really like the name, snickerdoodles. I think your kids would have fun making these, especially pronouncing the name. So it doesn't really matter because the flavor is going to go into the rest of your cookies anyway. And then go to next and put in another. So you can press tab on the screen to go back to zero and put in another 10 and a half ounce. And then next, put the measuring cup back on. And next. Okay, so now it's going to go for six seconds at speed 10. So what this is going to do is actually whiz your sugar into pretty much icing sugar. <laughs> Okay, so if you do not have icing sugar at home and you just need a little bit for any recipe, you can actually do it right at home without having to buy a whole packet of 500 grams of icing sugar, right? So next, so I'll show you how fine the sugar is. It's actually really, really fine, okay? So next, add eight ounce unsalted butter. We'll push the butter all in. So cube your butter, it's cold butter and it's just cubed. Eight, eight ounce. And then next, insert measuring cup. And next, two minutes, speed three. Okay. So just turn it to number three. So now it's creaming the butter and the icing sugar together. Okay. So the beauty of using double mix I find with a lot of my baking is that I don't have to have my butter out. Uh, you know, it doesn't need to be 
that let out the function room temperature, which is what you need to do with a lot of pen mixers or your Kenwood mixer, because otherwise your butter won't cream well, right? So with the Thermomix, you have no problems. You can take the butter out of the fridge, okay? Not your freezer, but your fridge, okay? So the, my butter is normally kept in the fridge. I know some people like to keep butter in the freezer, but if it is in the freezer, take it out the night before into your fridge and then use it as per the recipe, okay? And you will get really beautifully creamed, uh, you know, creamy, fluffy, uh, mix when you do that, all right? So, um, how many of you like to bake? Can I have at number one? How many of you like baking? Okay. How many of you have tried making bread on your own at home? At number two. Okay. So when I used to have the bread maker and I used to make breads, it would take half an hour for the bread maker to knead the dough, just to knead, okay? I'm not talking about the automatic function of like baking it after and everything. Just to knead the dough, it would take half an hour. If you were to knead it by hand, I really don't know how long it would take because I have not tried. But from talking to friends, I know it takes anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, kneading breads in the thermomix is so easy because it only takes like six minutes or seven. See how beautifully whipped that butter and sugar is, right? So you just go next. Okay, adding two large eggs. Let me grab my eggs. So two large eggs, that's going to go in. Okay, one. Okay, so I like to break my eggs separately into a bowl first, just in case you don't want to get any um, eggshells and stuff into it. So just add two eggs. So these are large eggs. And then next, Insert measuring cup. And next, just 20 seconds to mix the eggs in at speed three again. Okay. So it's really easy because everything just goes into your bowl and you don't have to like stir, you don't have to like mix anything. So now it's just whisking the eggs into the mix. And then I go next, and it says scrape down with the spatula. I'm just going to push everything down, okay, just to make sure the eggs are all mixed in. So you can use our Thermomix spatula, or you can use any silicone spatula that you have. Okay, next, all purpose flour. So, 13 and a half ounce of all purpose flour. Okay, so I have pre weighed this because we're doing it for a demo, but normally it just comes straight out of my tub. Okay, 13 and a half ounce. Next, one teaspoon baking powder. So I've got a teaspoon of baking powder, two teaspoons cream of tartar, and a quarter teaspoon of salt here, okay? I'm just gonna put all that in. And then next, insert measuring cup again. Next, 40 seconds, speed four. So how easy is that, okay? So that's all you need to do to make your snicker noodles. But like 
any basic ingredients, anyone can make it. Okay. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I like my thermomix for uh, baking as well because it's just so easy to mix everything up. In fact, this morning my son wanted pancakes and I could just whip up, you know, the pancake batter, just follow the recipe on cookie dough, whip up pancake batter and make pancake for breakfast. Okay, so next. Okay, so it says to form the dough. I'm going to push everything down. And you can see the batter. Okay. So it says to form the dough into um, walnut sized balls. I'm just going to use a small scoop and scoop it up. Okay. And then this one will get coated into the mix, the cinnamon sugar mix, and placed on my tray two inches apart and then bake for eight to 10 minutes at 200 degrees, okay? So while I'm doing this, I'm gonna hand you over to Lindsay to show you the next amazing recipe. See you later. Hi, good morning everybody. My name is Lindsay. All right, today I'll be showing you a little multi-layer cooking. I'll be doing a uh, garlic shrimp, okay? So I will be um, steaming my prawns, my shrimp on top here in the varoma dish. And at the bottom, I'll be um, making the sauce, the garlic sauce. So let's start. So while it's cooking, I'll explain more about uh, layer cooking, all right? Okay, so I've saved the recipe in cookie dough, all right? So it's under garlic shrimp. Um, okay, start cooking. So it it tells us to place Varoma dish in position. So this is the Varoma dish that, that uh, Sunita explained about the, uh, earlier, that you place it on top while you're doing your layer cooking, all right? Okay, so place in Varoma dish your shrimp, all right? Already place it in. Okay, so secure Varoma dish lid. So this is the lid. Okay, you just have to secure it. All right, okay, now it says place in your garlic. So I have my garlic in, my garlic cloves, shallots, okay, I have my shallots. Okay, um, I couldn't find any parsley, so I'm not adding parsley. All right, so it's up to you whether you want to add parsley or you can add, um, you know, other sort of uh, fresh uh, herbs. Okay, insert measuring cup. So what I'm gonna do now is, it is asking me to turn into speed seven and it has selected five seconds, so it's gonna chop for me. So we don't need to do any chopping. So Thermomix will do the chopping for us. Okay, speed seven. All right, so fast. Okay, I'm going to show you. So it finally chopped for me, just like hand chopped, but right now we don't have to do any chopping ourselves. The mummy does everything for us. So just scrap it down. Okay, so it's so convenient. We don't need to, um, you know, take out a blender or we don't need to hand chop. All done in one bowl. And it's so fast. Okay. Next, okay, spray it down, right? So unsalted butter, I have butter with me. Okay. Next, okay. Um, seafood stock, I've actually marinated the prawn in some, um, stock so i'm not putting the stock in okay two ounce lemon juice so i have lemon juice here so everything is pre-measured so of course we have a built-in scale again we don't have to um you know uh, remove um from our cabinet a uh, 
a scale, a blender. So everything is in one machine. So you, you blend here, you chop here, you can, you, you can scale here as well. So all in. So while you're cooking, just scale here, tear scale. It, you can zero rise, it's your scale in one grand uh, position. So, all right. So, find sea salt. Right. Sea salt. Okay. Okay. Black pepper. Okay. So it says place Verma into position. Okay. So right now I have to color it. Remove the measuring cup so I can place my varoma into position. So this is my varoma dish. So now we are doing sort of like a multi-layer cooking, making it sauce and steaming the, the prawns at the same time. All right, so it's 10 minutes varoma. So why do we need varoma? Because we want um, a stronger steam to reach up to the prawn. So varoma is, um, can anyone tell me in the chat what, what this varoma means? Anyone tell me in the chat? Varoma means okay. So varoma means vapor aroma. Yes, Suisan. Yeah. So you get a strong vapor, and you also get a nice aroma while you're steaming your your layer cooking. All right. So it asks me to turn to speed one. Okay. Okay. So right now it's doing its cooking. It's um, making the sauce, okay, in a traditional way, we'll be having a pot, steaming one side, and then another pot, making sure we are by the stove, standing there and stirring. Do not burn the butter, do not burn the sauce, you know. So with Thermomix, it's so simple. You just have to leave it all in one. You know, you save space, you save time, and, um, and you don't have to worry about it being burned. You don't have to go and check. Just leave it and 10 minutes time is done. Okay. So let's talk about layer cooking. So in Thermomix, you can, there's a lot of recipes you can find um, doing layer cooking, right? So what is layer cooking? So layer cooking is um, basically putting your food in the mixing basket, a uh, mixing bowl and steaming at the same time, right? So you can have uh, multi-layer steaming as well. So actually, while I'm steaming my prawn, I can actually add another layer here, my um, tray. I can add uh, vegetables, you know, broccoli or carrots, and I can just place it in and steam at the same time. So when it's done, I got my steamed prawns, I got my steamed vegetables, you know, and you just have to have some pasta and, you know, pour in the sauce and, Done, you know, it's so fast. It's like less than 15 minutes. We got the full meal, the vegetable, your um, your meat and your pasta, your main dish. Okay, so it's a, so multi-layer cooking um, with thermomix incorporates layers of flavors, all right? And also um, saving time, saving space and um, while you're preparing milk. So can you put in the chat, who steams food at home? Who does a lot of steaming at home? Anyone does a lot of steaming at home? Yeah. And why is, um, why, why is steaming so important? Why do you like steaming, steaming your food? What are the benefits of steaming? Yes, healthier. So it's healthier, it's, um, it retains all the nutrients, you know, correct, yeah, healthier. And you know, the flavors, the vitamins, the nutrients are retained in, in, the, in the food, all right? And, okay, and then um, usually in a traditional way, how long, does it take to steam um, your, your food? Let's say you want to do a meal. Let's say you want to do um, steamed chicken rice. How long, how long will it take to, you know, 
um, steam your chicken rice. You have to cook your chicken. You have to steam. And then steam your rice separately on your uh, rice pot. And then you have to make the sauce separately, you know, the chili sauce. And then you have to prepare the soup separately. Do you know that Thermomix has a recipe for steamed chicken rice all done in half an hour? So you steam your rice, you steam your chicken. Um, you already made your sauce, you know, you blend it. It takes a few less than, uh, like less than 30 seconds to blend everything, to make the sauce and then while it's steaming all the goodness from of the chicken um, juice it flows down into the rice and you get really nice aroma um, rice and then the best part is when it's done all the liquid at the bottom which has all the um, chicken flavor you know the aroma you just uh, cook it for another bar and you get the soup the goodness out of the the, the chicken you know during the whole steaming process right so it's so i mean it's so convenient you know that we have so many recipes that you can explore and cookie do we have uh, we have amazing cookbooks you know layered cooking cookbooks that you can explore so with layer cooking it really saves time okay so we can steam our meat our fish our chicken steam our vegetables and then you can also steam your egg on top you know you can make um the Japanese egg, what do you call that? The chawanmushi, right? So it's so simple, right? Okay, so we have five more minutes, yeah. So, um, okay, so how many of y'all have actually done your own chicken rice at home? So, so when you purchase your, yes, it's nice, right? It's amazing, right? So me, myself, you know, I, you know, before Thermomix, you know, I, I really, I think it's so much of a hassle, you know, making your own chicken rice. So I rather, you know, go outside and so, you know, go outside to get it, you know. So after I um, discovered that Thermomix makes such a great chicken rice, you know, I, <laughs> before Thermomix, yeah, before Thermomix, just buy, you know. But now it's so convenient and we know what are we putting in our food? You know, we know we are putting in uh, good ingredients. Uh, you know, we buy uh, quality chicken and we, we don't use MSG in our food. So it's all quality ingredients, right? So it's so simple. So why not make it ourselves? So when you purchase a Thermomix today, we have our uh, perfection recipe, seven days perfection recipe. So the chicken rice is in the perfection recipe. You have to really try it, you know, to believe, to believe me, okay? It's true, right? So, um, okay. So do you all cook a lot? I mean, I'm sure a lot of us are now so busy at home, you know, working, working from home and our kids are homeschooling, right? So I'm sure you all cook a lot at home, you know, and to get prep food, you know, it's not cheap, the delivery. So how many of you actually um, order food? I mean, those who don't have a Thermomix yet, do you order a lot of food or do you cook at home? Cook at home. Yeah. Take my tea. Yes, of course we have to cook at home with our TM6. It's so simple, we have to cook at home, okay? No more ordering out. For those who are ordering, stop ordering your food, you know? Okay, you can do once in the blue moon, you know, once in a while, you know, but cook at home is healthier, safer for everyone, you know? And it's so creative, you know, with Thermomix, you can do so many things, you know? Today's cooking show, you will be able to see You'll be able to see what from dessert to drinks to main course to you know to to anything you can do in all in one machine. How amazing is that? And it really saves time, cuts out the time. And the best part is cooking with thermomix. Um, the taste is really not the same what when you cook on the stove. Okay, especially when you stir frying your um your vegetables. You know, it really tastes so good. Okay, because of the 
because of the low temperature cooking, which um, my partner will explain later, the low and high temperature cooking. Uh, thermomics, we don't fry fish, you can steam. Yes, you do layer cooking. Um, you can shallow, um, not really deep fry, shallow fry. You can actually put the whole fish in. So there are recipes as well that you can uh, follow. Because, because the moments is a healthy um, eating way, you know, lifestyle machine. So we don't really do deep fry. So, but we have a high temperature cooking where you can um, um, fry your shallot, crispy shallots, crispy garlic, you know, gum your prawns, etc. Right. And um, you know, when steaming rice as well, uh, we get low GI rice, you know, when you steam. So it's a healthier way of eating, right? Those who are on a diabetic diet and those who are, you know, trying to cut on carbs, you know, those are afraid to eat rice. So now you don't have to worry anymore because cooking rice with thermomix is low GI rice. Yes, it's very healthy, yeah. So for me, I, I've been cooking my rice with Thermomix for the past seven years. Okay, I don't have a rice cooker at home. So, you know, and my kids, they, I think they grew up with eating um, Thermomix rice. So I think, I think it's a healthier way of uh, cooking, cooking with Thermomix uh, using the low GI rice uh, method. Okay. I can smell, you know, I can already smell the aroma of the prawns and the garlic sauce. All right. Okay, let's see. Next. Okay, remove leaf and stir seafood. Wow. Okay, let me show you. See, it's already right. So stir seafood. So you see, while, I'm, while the prawn is steaming, the juices are actually dripping into the, the sauce, all right? So later on, the, the garlic buttery sauce, it will have the uh, prawn aroma as well. Okay, so next, secure vermilite. All right. So it asked me to cook for another five minutes on Varoma. So on Varoma temperature, which is the um, higher um, steaming. So to let it steam for a little while more for the cooks, for the prawn to be, um, you know, more cooked. So at speed one. All right, okay. So while it's cooking, I will hand over to my other partner who's going to make uh, another dish. Stay tuned, see you later. Okay, hi everyone. Yeah, it's Amir, right? Okay. Yes, yes, uh, <laughs> Okay, thank you. All right, uh, so hi, good morning. Uh, this is a very, um, a lovely morning, Saturday morning. Okay, so I would like to take my live demo cooking show outside, do it outdoor. Okay, so I hope you can hear me well. Okay, um, for today, I would like to share with you guys on how to make a uh, Dalgona coffee. Basically, basically, it's like this, all right? You see the layer of this Dalgona and the uh, fresh milk, okay? So, um, Dalgona coffee, yeah, it went viral last year. So, I was one of the people that went crazy over this uh, type of coffee, okay? It's Dalgona coffee, okay? So, uh, I tried to make it in a, uh, in a old method, okay? Cara lama. So, I was so shocked at the sheer amount of the sugar uh, to make the Dalgona, okay? Because they use um, uh, a lot of sugar in, in the Dalgona um, recipe to make it, um, to make it uh, fluffy, okay? So the ratio is like one eight two one one spoon of coffee, eight spoon of sugar, and two spoons of water, right? So um, that's a lot of sugar intake, okay? So uh, that was way back before I have the thermomix, okay? So now when I have this uh, super machine, I 
tried to search the Dalgona recipe in here. Okay, so um, surprisingly, we have a lot of recipe in the cookie dough in so many languages, okay, in a foreign language as well as in English. Okay, so uh, let me talk about the Dalgona. Okay, it's, it looks simple. It's just a coffee. It's a Dalgona coffee, but it's actually a tricky uh, process where there are many reasons that you could, you could go wrong, okay? Tak jadi, your Dalgona. Okay, why is that? Because... Um, one of the thing is you add too much sugar in it. So the uh, heavy, it cannot be weak, fluffy, okay? So the, the, the next thing is you put too much water in it, okay? So when you whisk it, if you put too much water in it, you end up whisk it forever, okay? It won't, it won't get fluffy, okay? And the last um, mistake, the last, I mean, not the last mistake, and the most important part is the whisk technique, okay? When you do the manual using the hand whisk, and whisker, is it? Okay, so that one, you have to uh, consistent whisk it with your uh, hand mixer of your spatula and uh, from the frosty frosty uh, texture to the uh, whip thickened froth, it will take at least 8 to 10 minutes to make it perfect, okay? So, with Thermomix, I can cut it short, okay? So, can you guess? Um, how much time do I need to spend on my Thermomix to make Dalgona? Just guess. If a normal uh, process, the old way, I'll put 8 to 10 minutes to make it. With Dalgona, how much time do I need? 5 minutes. 5 minutes, yeah, good enough, right? Half the time from the manual process, can? Okay, <laughs> 50 seconds. Okay, it's actually 1 minute, okay? You just need 1 minute to make the perfect frost, okay? All right, so let's get started. Okay, all right, I'm going to show you how to, how this magic happened. It's just one minute only, okay? Okay, so I like to use this uh, recipe from, I think it's Spanish, okay? This one, okay? Um, it's in foreign language, but don't worry. I don't know how to speak Spanish either, but what you can do is that you take your phone, and you open the Google Apps camera translation. When you point out to your screen, it will translate the screen from foreign language to uh, English or your preferred language, okay? So, let's get started. Okay, thanks. Okay, now, we have to put the whisk inside here, okay? This one, butterfly whisk. We call it butterfly whisk, okay? So, you put it on your blunt side of the blade, okay? Just like this. And then it will move just like this, okay? All right. Okay. Now it says, uh, I translate for you, okay? Because in Spanish, <laughs> two spoons of coffee. You can use any uh, coffee granules, instant coffee, okay? okay? All right. And next is two spoons of sugar. Okay. All right, next is, it's just three uh, simple ingredients. Okay, now water, okay? 100 grams of water. So here, don't forget to take care. I always forgot to do that, okay? So make it as baseline zero. Okay, so I'm going to pour it. Just a little bit. You have to be precise in the in the way. Okay, from forty, fifty. Oh. Okay, ninety nine is good. My senior says it's a very forgiving uh great skill. So ninety nine can okay. So now we're going to whisk it, okay? Okay, uh, just remember that when you use the butterfly whisk, always use with the speed of maximum of four only, not more than that, okay? All right, and then we just come to number four. Okay, so why, why do you ask that? Maybe one of you can say, can uh, wonder why the, the why this demo mix can do Dalgona in just one minute, okay? Instead of eight to ten minutes using the uh, uh, hand mixer, okay? It's because that this machine 
is built with turbo speed of 10,700 RPM, rotation per minute. Okay. Uh, it means that it does, it is a 178 per second, one in one speed, okay, in one uh, rotate. Okay, so it's like uh, the speed equation is like you're driving a car with a 250 kilometer per hour. Talk about speed, right? So that's how fast the turbo, uh, this um, the speed in thermomics, okay? All right. Okay, now it's done. Okay, let me take a look. Yes. Perfect. You wanna see it? Mm. See how fluffy. This is the perfect uh, texture of uh, Laguna Frost, okay? Okay, all right. So, I'm going to set it up now. So I just want to ask you guys, uh, have you ever guys wondered why don't, if you don't have the moments, right, why don't we use a blender? Have any one of you tried to use the blender to make Dalgona? Yes or no? No. <laughs> no, right. Okay. Why? It's just a blender. They can spin too, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. But that was a smart idea when people told me that you can use Blender what, to make the Dalgona because it, it spins like a, a hand whisk. <laughs> yes. Why you cannot use Blender to make Dalgona is because the Blender will heat up the mixture. Okay? So the um, they're preventing the frost to be created. You know? You can try can uh, frosting kita. So that's why you cannot use Blender, the normal Blender because of the heating up process. But with the more mix, that's gonna not happen. <laughs> that will not gonna happen, okay? Because the more mix is a machine that do not heat up your uh, ingredient, your mixture in it, okay? Because this is a, a what we call that a frictionless uh, motor. It has a frictionless motor, which is uh, anti uh, geseran. It tak bergeser lah, so dia uh, will not even heat up this uh, uh, mixture. So you can um, blend ice cream. You can blend um, ice, air batu campur, ABC, okay? All right. So um, because of this, because of this uh, no no friction, no friction um motor, they have a very um uh what do you call that uh no energy loss in the process. Okay, so it contributes to the efficiency efficiency of the motor. Okay, so that's why this um this thermomix is uh, we call it a super blender. Okay, it's not like normal like other blender. Okay, so now. I'm going to take off my uh, butterfly wings, okay? I'm going to show you how to make a perfect double now, okay? Now, okay, I like my coffee to be a little bit um strong. So I'll make this ice, uh, ice coffee ball. All right, so is it for enough, right? Okay, for coffee ice ball. Okay, and then I'm going to pour on milk. Whoops. Yes. Okay. Okay, and now the moment of truth. We will take it out. Oh, I think I'll make it. Just for you guys to see it. Hold on. Okay, hold on now. Okay. Sorry about that. So, this one. I want, I want you guys to have a closer look. Okay. Now the first, the first thing goes in. You see, we have a very soft pig, very uh, fluffy gubu, eh? Yes. And there you go. You, now you will have your perfect whip Dalgona <laughs> coffee. See? And it tastes so good, okay? 
So um, yeah, that's the that's the best part about thermomix. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's the best part about Thermomix, okay? Because um, when I told my husband that uh, about this frictionless uh, moto, he was so impressed. And and uh, the wow factor took him to say, yes, go, go get yourself a Thermomix. So here I am, happy, happily making a uh, Thermomix every day, okay? Because it's my energy drink. All right, that's all from me. So shall I? Move to another speaker. Hi, hello everyone. My name is Zarina. Can you? <laughs> everyone hear me? Okay, so today I will be making ayam masak kicap, okay, using manual cooking mode. All right, so let's start. Okay, so there's only three simple steps, okay? So first, we are going to blend, all right? I have 100 grams of shallots, okay? So put everything inside. And then I have 10 grams of ginger, okay? So 10 grams of ginger. And I am going to add 50 grams of oil, all right? So the Thermomix has its own built-in weighing scale, all right? So I've already pre-measured, but I just want to show you. So if you go to the... Weighing scale here, don't forget to click tear to zero rise and then just add in the oil together. Okay, so the reason why I'm I'm uh, adding the oil together, okay, with the shallots and the gingers is so that uh, it will mix well before um, and uh, when I blend later, it will mix well with the oil and I can straight away scrape down and saute. All right, so now I'm gonna close the lid and I'm going to blend for 30 seconds speed eight okay so 30 seconds speed eight so after this we're gonna I'm gonna scrape down and I'm going to saute everything for five minutes yeah Five, five seconds to go. Okay, so can you hear this sound? That means we are ready for the next step. Okay, so I'm going to show you the results of blending it for 30 seconds. Okay, so actually this recipe required me to put five uh, dried chilies. Okay, but I want to omit that because my house, my children, my kids don't uh, eat spicy food. So if you want it to be spicy, you can always add your chili, your dried chili. Okay, so this is how it looks like after 30 seconds. Can you see? Okay, so now I've added the oil earlier. Okay, so it it has mixed really well with the shallots and the garlic. So now I'm just going to saute, close the lid, and set for five minutes. Okay, five minutes, 120 degrees. Okay, so for general, I mean for sauteing, we always use 120 degrees and speed chew. Okay. So only three simple steps, you can see uh, how effortless this uh, ayam masak kicap, kicap will be, okay? So later, I'm going to add the chicken and some soy sauce, okay? So while we have another five minutes now, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the low temperature cooking and high temperature cooking, okay? So this is what I love about the Thermomix. You can enjoy the best of both worlds, okay? So you can do low temperature cooking. For example, when you're cooking your vegetables, of course, you want to cook it at low temperature cooking, okay? So that your nutrients will be retained, okay? So you get the retention of your nutrients, uh, of your food, and you also get a uh, kitchen free from harmful cooking fumes, all right? So... You, you will notice that um, if a lot of you are TM users here, you will notice, right, when you cook your vegetables, you have really vibrant and green veggies. That is because you're cooking at 
low temperature, okay? Only 120 degrees. So it's really healthy for you and the family. That's what we want, okay? So we don't want to cook over high heat, over high fire. And sometimes you buy organic vegetables and what you don't realize is that when you blanch it, you're already throwing 50% of your nutrients. And when you cook it over the high, high temperature uh, over the fire, you're already throwing more nutrients from your vegetables, okay? And if you also want to have, uh, to take out the extra flavor from your meat or, or do your browning or caramelizing, you can always use high temperature cooking, okay? So this one you cannot do manually. You have to go and use the recipes from Cookie Do. This is for safety reasons. So we have a lot of recipes such as the um, sugar stages, uh, which uses high temperature cooking and we have browning, Okay, we have sorted mushrooms, sorted prawns, all that are using high temperature cooking, okay? And usually we will use a splash guard for the high temperature cooking mode. So it's really awesome that the Thermomix enables you to have both, to enjoy both. Low temperature cooking, preserving all your nutrients and also high temperature cooking. All right, so, and you have, always have the perfect temperature control. This is very important to me. And if, uh, if you notice a lot of the international chefs and a lot of uh, the participants in MasterChef as well, they use the Thermomix to create the perfect sauces. Because you know, when you can control the temperature, you'll have the perfect consistency, the perfect texture all the time, okay? So they use this Thermomix to create the perfect sauces, okay? So perfect texture every time. You can make kaya, just a quick one on this. You can make kaya, fruit jams, homemade yogurt, yam paste dessert, and pumpkin soup. All right, and Lindsay spoke about this for layer cooking earlier. So I just wanna share a little bit more. What are the other recipes you can do? Apart from the garlic prawns, uh, the chicken rice, you can also make curry mee, okay? so. Uh, uh, in the Varoma, you can actually, in the Varoma tray, you can actually put your steamed eggs and sawi, okay? And then inside the Varoma dish, you can put your noodles and you can cook your curry directly in the mixing bowl. So you can masak seven pot, you can cook all at once, okay? Saving you a lot of time, all right? Saving you a lot of time. Okay, so we have about one minute. All right, so this is the four layer cooking. Okay, I wanna talk a little bit about the four modes, okay? So we have kettle mode, okay? And the kettle mode with Thermomix is really awesome because you get to control, again, you get to control the temperature. Okay, so now you can brew your perfect tea at 75 degrees, okay? So if you do it con uh, conventionally, you, you are not able to set the temperature, so you can't have the precise temperature, okay? Uh, for your tea or your coffee, okay? So, because not necessarily you need to brew your coffee or tea at 100 degrees, okay? But now with the Thermomix, you can brew it at your desired temperature that you want, okay? 75 degrees and perfect coffee brewing at 95 degrees. And when you make your apple tea, this is why it is very important that you can control your temperature because when you're making teas like apple tea, you don't want to throw the nutrients away. So if you are actually doing the conventional way, you boil it, you actually, you, you, you're actually eliminating the nutrients from the apples. But if you make it using your Thermomix, you only boil it, you only cook it for uh, at 90 degrees. So your nutrients will still be there in your tea and your family can enjoy it. Okay, perfect timing. So now we are ready for the next step. Okay, so I've sorted everything. Now, I am going to add the chicken inside, okay? I am going to add the chicken. So I'm using various parts of the chicken like wings and drumstick and a bit of Thai meat, okay? So about 600 grams of meat, okay? And then now I'm just going to add the light soy sauce, 40 grams of light soy sauce. 10 grams of dark soy sauce, all right? And then I'm going to add 10 grams of sugar, 50 grams of water, 
this is actually the last step. See how effortless that was, okay? And some red chilies, okay? You can deseed it. All right, and I just close the lid and I'm gonna cook it for another 16 minutes only, 16 minutes. 120 degrees and um, reverse spoon. Okay, so the blades, we have two sides to the blades. One, you have the blunt side and the sharp side. Okay, so make sure to enable the reverse blade mode. Okay, so that it doesn't chop up your meat. All right, and I'm using the slow speed to just give it a little stir. Okay, so I'm going to continue um, my slide. Just a second. Oh, you guys can see this clearly. Okay, so, so this is very, very important that you get the right temperature, okay, for your tea, for your apple tea, for your coffee, okay? So we have other modes, okay, you have built-in weighing scale, you have dough, uh, you have kneading mode, okay, so you can make uh, your bread, okay, really nice bread. There's a lot of recipes on cookie dough, so you can look it up, uh, perfect for you to explore during this MCO. Okay, you have therbo mode and pre-clean mode, okay, so it helps you loosen up all the dough bits after your kneading or your cooking, okay, you have kettle mode, blend mode, slow cook, and I think Sunita covered this earlier. So I'm gonna just move on, okay, the other mode is slow cook mode, so we can actually cook, we can do slow cooking up to uh, eight hours on reverse mode, okay? So you can have, you can do beef stew, you can do braised duck, okay? And braised lamb shanks, how many of you love this? I love braised lamb shanks and also your red bean soup. So you can do a lot of uh, desserts as well, okay? So you can put soup tulang, okay? Um, it's really, really delicious and you really get that um, tender meat that falls off from the bone. It's really, really nice, okay? You can use this uh, slow cook mode. Okay, the other mode is the fermentation mode, which is up to 12 hours. So you can make your own cheese and yogurt. Okay, how awesome is that? So usually we will do it the night before for your yogurt so that you can have it for breakfast the next morning. Okay, perfect for breakfast. Okay, and also we have sous vide mode. This is, this is what I love as well because you can make really nice steaks and salmon. Okay, you can achieve professional tender sous-vide dishes that are flavorful, moisture, and tender. So how they cook this is actually they use bubble, uh, sorry, they use a uh, water bath method, okay? So they, they preserve all the nutrients and flavor in a vacuum sealed bag. So you marinate your meat and you put it in a Ziploc bag, BPA-free Ziploc bag or a vacuum sealed bag, and you cook it at low temperature, but for a long, slightly longer. Uh, period okay so between 40 to 85 degrees you cook it uh, you cook your meat so once it's done you can really see the it's really juicy it's really tender and if you want to add a little you want it to be a bit crispy on the outside just sear it over the pan for about one minute or 40 seconds depending on how you like your meat to be whether it's well done or medium well it's totally up to you you can also do your sous vide eggs okay at different temperatures we have 63, 10, uh, 63 degrees, 66 degrees, or 69 degrees. Okay, you can do your sous vide eggs, salmon. It's really like in those French restaurants, okay, fine dining restaurants. All right. And yeah, um, benefits of cooking with thermomix. Okay, so as you can see from the, from the first presented of chef until now, you can see that it's so quick and easy. Everything is just really quick and easy. All right. Lindsay did the multi-layer cooking, so you save a lot of time over there. So you really do have quick and easy access. Um, apart from that, everyone can cook. Okay, so with Cookie Do, now everybody can cook. All right, we have uh, about 72,000 recipes just at your fingertips. All you have to do is just search for a particular recipe. And not only you will be provided with the recipes, they will also give you a guided step-by-step -step instructions from A to Z. So even your ch children, your kids, your husband, anybody with zero baking knowledge or with zero cooking skills can now cook, okay? Because all the recipes in the Thermomix cooking recipe platform are tried and tested by the recipe owners. So all you have to do is just follow the instructions, okay? Inshallah, it will be 
Uh, it will taste good, okay? I have most of the recipes that I've tried, semua sedap. All right, so healthy, okay? Because now uh, you can actually control the temperature setting. You can control, uh, you can also now uh, cook healthily, okay? Because you control the temperatures. For example, just now like cooking, uh, like I mentioned, cooking the vegetables, you can actually cook at 120 degrees, preserving all the nutrients of your vegetables, okay? And the apple tea, again, uh, as I mentioned, you can preserve the nutrients from the apple. So healthy, healthy way of cooking, auto cooking and auto washing. I really love this as well. You see now it's totally hands-free cooking for me, okay? And I don't have to wash the fryer. I don't have to... There's no monitoring or stirring needed, okay? Um, while it is cooking, okay, I have about 10 minutes now. I can actually attend to my toddler, my children, okay? Uh, I have an 18 month year old baby, so I can always go to her and it's perfectly safe to also cook while carrying her because, you know, there's no fire involved, there's no oil splattering here and there. So it's closed, it's really, really, really safe. So I really like this and auto washing, we have the pre-clean mode where you just select whether it's dough mode or you're doing just universal, I mean, general cooking. So they have various settings. So it will help you loosen up all your dough bits or your leftovers from your cooking. So it, it, it's really brilliant, okay? And like Sunita explains, it saves a lot of space, okay? So you don't need all your other kitchen appliances already if you invest in a Thermomix, okay? You, all you need is just one Thermomix. It does everything for you, okay? From chopping, blending, steaming, your ice cream, your bread, your cookies, your yogurt, everything using this one special machine. All right, and goodbye to cooking fumes. As you can see right now, I don't have any kitchen hood. Okay, I'm cooking outdoor. And this is what I like about the Thermomix as well, because you can, it's portable. It's the smallest, smartest kitchen machine. And it's portable where you can cook anywhere, anytime, as long as there's a, Plug point, okay? So you can cook outdoors, okay? When you feel bored at home, inside, you can cook anywhere. Even in your dining room, you can cook there, okay? So the aroma that's coming out here is not actually cooking fumes. It's actually just vapor. So it doesn't, uh, it won't go, it won't leave any odor to your uh, furniture, okay? All right, we have eight more minutes. Okay, so I just want to share a little bit. So about the payment modes, okay, the payment plan. So the original price is 7188, all right, 7188, but we uh, are still giving a 200 discount uh, voucher. Okay, so you only pay 6988 for a full machine, okay, with the complete accessories. So you get um, the butterfly whisk, okay, the splash guard, and your steamering basket to cook your potatoes, your rice, your pasta, you can steam your vegetables, and also your varoma. This is actually your steamer, like Lindsay was demonstrating. So you get your varoma, it's, a, it's got two layers, so you can fit a whole cup of chicken in here, and you can steam your vegetables on top here. So this, is all, this all comes in your package, all right? So if you, you can either make a full payment, all right? And if you make a full payment, you will get to choose either one of these cookbooks. Okay, these books are really, I love these two books. Okay, one is the Chinese Flavors Cookbook. Can you see? Chinese Flavors Cookbook by Olivia Tan. All right, Olivia Tan. And also the Malay Kitchen Cookbook, okay? There's a lot of nice recipes in both these cookbooks, all right? And uh, this basic cookbook comes in your package. You will definitely get this in your uh, box, okay? Together with all the other accessories and your machine, of course. All right, so if you don't want to go for the full payment, you can actually go for the financing payment, okay? For our financing plan for as low as nine ringgit per day only, okay? Which works out to be 291 ringgit per month, okay? And if any of you are interested in becoming an advisor, just like me, just like my fellow advisors, get in touch with, with your advisor and they will share with you more about it. All right.
So this is the complete package you will receive your Thermomix TM6 machine, as I mentioned earlier, all the other accessories, your splash guard, your microfiber waste simmering basket, your spatula, all right? Your spatula and your varoma, okay? And yeah, this is your whole package. It comes with your recipe, uh, the basic cookbook again, and you get VIP cooking classes. Okay, what comes with your package? You get VIP cooking classes, okay? So from time to time, we will have this and you are free to join us anytime. We do free delivery, okay, to our customers. Um, we also have free unboxing service, all right? Usually we will have this, um, usually pre-MCO, we will go over to your house, we will set it up and we will do an unboxing service for you one-to-one, uh, -one, uh, personally in person. But because of the MCO, we will have a, a free unboxing service via Zoom. So your advisors will actually share out the link and you may join us, okay? And we will have a personal advisor support, okay? So we will be here to answer all your questions, uh, okay? So don't worry, uh, feel free to ask your advisors, all right? Uh, if you have any questions, once you've received your machine, so we will be here to support you. And the warranty for this machine is two years, okay? For, uh, uh, for commercial use, it's only one year, but for TM users just like us home users, it's two year warranty, okay? All right, so yeah, if you think you want to change lives every day, okay, learn new cooking skills, okay, meet new people, okay, new like-minded friends, all right, you can always uh, join us, okay, and if you feel like you want to be an advisor, speak to your advisor, and we will be happy to have you in our team, all right, and I just want to share before that, uh, before I pass it to another chef, um, for this, uh periods uh host gift okay hostess gift you will be receiving four gifts in total okay this is the most that uh the company has given out so far usually it's just one or two gifts but this time you will get four gifts okay so this is really the best time okay to buy so you will get one of these uh silicone um uh, muffin rectangular mold, all right? So there's six holes here, okay? So you can make your muffin and it fits perfectly inside your varoma. So this is how you place it, okay? Just place it inside and see how it fits perfectly. Because sometimes when you try to use your own one, your bukan, it, which is not uh, designed by Thermomix, by Powerwack, okay? You may find that you cannot, you can't close the lid. So, but now with this, you can close it perfectly. It fits very well. So this is really a good gift, okay? So this is one of it. And the second one is the trivet, okay? So what is the use of this? Let me just show you. This is how you place it. So you place it like this in the Varoma dish inside. Can you see this? Okay, so that now you don't close all the holes at the bottom. So you get proper steam circulation for the food that you're steaming inside. This is a really wonderful gift, isn't it? Because sometimes, you know, you need to make sure that there's no, you don't close the holes. But with this trivet, you can actually, you can actually get the proper, I mean, a proper uh, circulation of the steam. Okay, so that's another gift. And you will also get the steaming tray okay so this is by thermomix okay steaming tray that fits also perfectly inside so you can do your thai steam fish or steam your pulot and just place it inside here and when you close it look it fits perfectly right okay and then you will also get this 24 okay this is a 24 uh varoma baking paper okay this is reusable, okay? And these sheets are designed to catch the cooking juices when steaming fish, okay? And you can also use to make cheesecakes, omelettes. So it's really, really useful, all right? And it's reusable and you have 24 sheets all together. All right, so that's one, two. Okay, so you get all these beautiful gifts 
for this period. Okay, so speak to your advisors. All right. Um, I think now we have about one minute, but I will pass it to uh, Sunita or the others who uh, who is ready to show your uh, dishes while I do I take my my ayamasa kitchen. Hi everyone, I'm back and my snippy doodles are done. So this is what they look like. So if you see, they're done. And this is how they should look. They should be lightly cracked on top. I already tasted one, so it's really, really yummy. And it's so easy to do. Just a quick tip. Um, when you roll your dough, I actually had my cinnamon and sugar mixture in a little bowl. So once you roll the dough, just drop it in and then just, you know, shake your bowl around so that it coats it. So you don't actually have to hold it and like coat it with the cinnamon. And it does a really beautiful, even coating of the cinnamon. It's really yummy because the taste of the cinnamon and sugar on top blends perfectly with the snickerdoodle so enjoy i'm sure your kids will love this if they're going if you're going to make it for them i'm i'm very sure my sons will really like it so it will be gone in no time in my house so over to lindsay to show her dish have a great weekend everyone wow sunita so yummy <laughs> Okay, this is, here you go. Let me show you a close-up. So this is the shrimp garlic, so good. And I tasted the shrimp, it's so nice and tender. So it's so easy to make. So everybody today should get your Thermomix, okay? Don't wait. And the promotions we have uh, for this period is amazing, so many gifts. So yeah. Okay, um, contact your advisors who um, contact, uh, invited you today to this show and register and purchase your Thermomix today. Pass on to the next presenter. Bye. Thank you. Okay, can you see? This is my ayam masak kicap. All right. Very easy, just three simple steps. And it's done. Um, Sunita, did I cover the hostess gift? Uh, everything, is it correct? Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything, so. Speak to your advisors, everyone. Uh, they will share with you more about it. Okay, so yeah, here's my ayam masak kicap. Very easy, just three simple steps, and there you have it. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> oh, it's come back to me. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I drink it. Okay, so half gone. So um, for those who will be receiving their thermomix soon, make sure to try to uh, make this Dalgona coffee. Okay, it's so healthy. It's just a, a perfect ratio, one perfect ratio of sugar. Okay, it's so sugarless. So give it a try and enjoy your weekend, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone.